Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Vernum 6, where we are maybe, no, we're definitely entering the abyss for real now, without any more roadblocks, literal roadblocks, or other distractions. Okay, Fort Spire, Spire, Barga. Yeah, thanks for that. I guess, oh yeah, this is, this would be the, the camp that was described with the boxes full of ill-gotten loot. <laughs> Leather armor and basic short swords. That makes sense because uh, the backstory, of course, was that those bandits specifically robbed new uh, arrivals who were equipped at Fort Saffron. So they took all that starting gear away from them. <clears throat> well, those days are over, but there are more. Presumably bandits. I mean, I guess uh, whenever you meet anyone in the abyss, chances are that they are lawless in some way or another. Uh, there is a vile odor in the air here. Rotting flesh and vile goop boiling in pots. Hmm. By the west wall, a band of Nephilim has set up a tannery. They are treating lizard skins, to make lizard skins to make leather, a job best done far away from any settlements. When they see you, they grab their weapons. In an instant, several bows are trained on you. The leader shouts, We are Fanklan! This is Fanklan land! Ah, oh, Avernum soldiers, not welcome! We want peace, but stay back, or we shoot! Do you want peace, though? I mean, I suppose they're not technically doing anything wrong here? But... Excuse me, I was... I really thought that I was moving away for the time being. But apparently not. You get too close for the tastes of these rather temperamental Nephilim, and they aren't fond of Evernight soldiers to begin with. The leader lets out a long, blood-curdling yowl. They move to defend their camp. Okay. I mean, I... Did I get closer to them than I was here? Maybe t technically. I couldn't know, though. Until I had run at this corner. Oh, well. I mean, let's face it. I was gonna attack them anyway. Got em. <laughs> Okay. One of the larger warriors lets out a long, angry snarl as he approaches you. Evernights! The Fanklan hates Evernights! Try to make us leave! Make us go to the surface! Then the Empire kill us! This is our land. Now you get what you deserve. Unhappily, they have no interest in talking or listening to reason. Yep. As tends to be the case. Uh, we don't actually see that person, though. How tough are these? Not very. Ah, there he is. Okay, 747. Well, I mean, I suppose we could try and lure them around this corner. Would that be useful? Maybe. I mean, we might as well try, although it's... Hmm, it's a little bit awkward. I mean, I suppose... I don't know. No, let's, let's just try rushing in, like the fools that we are. That's one down. Um, okay. The boss decided to check out the the other two people that he hasn't even seen yet. Um, I suppose while we have the chance, we're gonna. I should have done armor reduction. Oh well. Well, and blow it is. Yep. Okay. I suppose I should... I mean, I could just slow them all, or use my old friend, the rediscovered um, days, which, as it turns out, is still quite useful. Eh, heal yourself and shoot the guy. Now, of course, this is a little bit awkward. He's already lost quite a bit of health, and I, I don't know why I just keep pressing the priest spell button now whenever I want to cast anything. It's strange. <laughs> it's really only started last episode, and <laughs> I'm still doing it. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're kind of awkwardly stuck here. I don't think Xaz will be able to reach uh, the leader even if he tried, so I guess we're just gonna start stabbing this person here. 
no haste for us. What was that? Searing lightning. Oh, great. Just AoE lightning debuff on everyone. That's wonderful. Well, we'll see how badly it's gonna hurt. Probably quite badly. 97 damage from a lightning spray? Okay. I mean, our lightning damage is also pretty powerful, thankfully. Ooh, nice one. Surely you can reach him, right? <laughs> I mean, not the best damage in the world, ouch. But I'll take it. Ayali might be in trouble here. Oh, come on. He's not even dead. Okay, he is now. But if anything attacks her... She's dead. So that's great. Um... <laughs> Well, nothing much we can do about that right now. Oh, please. Oh, she actually got a chance to save herself. I keep forgetting. So we take two steps. Oh, it's five action points for an item. Okay. So we can do that. Heal her. Of course, everyone's going to take more lightning damage. Please. Don't kill. Oh, he's... He might die. He might be dead. 41. Well, I guess we're gonna see. It would be quite uh, quite unfortunate if he ends up dying. He did, sure enough. That's a real bummer. Oh well. Okay, lightning buff has read out on Hawk at least, so that gives me a little bit of hope here haste for our healer. Double lightning. I mean, we're gonna go back and um, heal, obviously, after this unfortunate little encounter. So, uh, I don't really need to conserve any mana. Okay, get even closer, whatever. Won't be able to cast twice anyway. 43. Yeah, you have to heal yourself. Oh no, wait. I mean, technically you don't. That's gonna be fine. Yeah. Well, I mean, just barely, but, but still. That one move, that one, that one attack from whatever his name was really shifted the entire balance of the combat. Of course, he did. He still died anyway, and so did all of his people, but yeah, I mean, turns out lightning debuff on the whole party is something that is, that is extremely tough to deal with, because the one, um, the one group healing spell that we get, at least until the, ex the very end of the character development, I suppose, and also game progression, because we have to learn that spell in the first place. Um, yeah, but but the mass healing is just so so weak. It's not enough to counteract the, that kind of spell. You longbow, composite bow. So, they just didn't drop anything good, right? Nothing magical? It would have been here. Oh well. Oh, of course, and now our lockpicker is dead, so we can't even potentially get to whatever loot might be in there. Oh well, it's fine. We'll just backtrack. And everyone is alive again. <laughs> just like that. I mean, will we ever get access to this? No, wait, which one is it? Oh, we can't even look at it here. I think it's this one, right? Not quite the ultimate spell. The second to last in the list. Uh, Divine Restoration, yeah. I also shudder to to imagine <laughs> how expensive that's going to be in terms of mana. I want to say it might have been something in the in the vicinity of 40 energy for one cast. That sounds about right. And of course, we somehow need to push our skill to 16 in order to use it. 
and find the spell. But, I mean, that's going to happen eventually, I suppose. Oh, well. I guess we'll deal with that. We'll worry about that when the time has come. Okay, dagger and some fine leather, at least. I really do, should check that leather worker again. Although there might be just a higher level leather worker somewhere else that I haven't been yet. Hello? Oh, okay, submission fungus. Wonderful. I don't suppose you can shoot from there, but maybe from here? No. Yep, okay, submission. Not that bad. Huh? Oh, wait, never mind. I guess it was pretty bad. Was it last time that I that I was Hello? Another one, of course. Another two actually. Ugh. Um last time that I was talking about or wondering about whether you could actually lose your entire turn just from the the stunning effect. Having your AP reduced to zero, well I suppose. That answers that. How does lightning work against those? Not at all. Gotcha. Okay, thanks for only attacking one of them and not both, because that would be kind of awkward. Okay, still attacking the mage. Uh, I don't really need to deal with these stupid fungi from here. What? Can you not go there? I should heal him, but on the other hand, it's going to be fine. Okay. Yeah, heal him now. Oh hey, thanks for attacking sounds of all people, who was not actually... I suppose he has more stun resistance, so that makes sense. Um... So he was not actually completely, um, completely stunned for this turn. Could have done a well-aimed blow there. That's okay. He needs to attack. Oh, thank you. Don't attack Hawk. And you didn't. Um, just save your valuable javelins. Okay. There might be more of them there. Let's maybe steer clear of that little peninsula for now. Um, switch back to your real weapons. Okay, where was I going to head? I mean, I suppose... I suppose... Oh my god, please. Oh, this should be a, a dead end, maybe, unless... I mean, it looks like the map is just cut off here, but the path might not necessarily be. Hmm, interesting. I did say that I wanted to check out the area around Erika's Tower, just because... And I'm curious what they what they're doing with that place in this game, which is obviously obviously holds a lot of significance in the history of Avernum, the Avernum series. Okay, we got some rabbit rats that are non-hostile, or at least we managed to calm them. But we also got these rabbit hellhounds, which are probably going to attack any moment. They didn't. Okay. Surprised that we needed to get this close to them. Um, well, let's just attack them normally. I don't think that I need to use any special strategy against them. Okay, poison, fireballs. Yep. Several attacks per round. Pretty standard stuff. Okay, lightning works against them. That's what I'd like to see. Nice one. Very nice. Okay. Understandable. Okay. Cure. 
and cure and save and we're gonna deal with these rats right away so they're obviously guarding something that I can only assume is extremely valuable in their nest there yes Hmm. Yeah, I could hit all five of them with uh, with some icy rain. Might as well, for all time's sake. Eh, it's still decent. I guess against five enemies, it's probably co more combined damage than a lightning spray against only three of them. Although, Lightning Spray does almost deal twice the damage, right? So, eh, whatever. Uh, beautiful Crystal, sure. Regen Scroll, hmm. Suppose those are probably pretty good. Should really use them more, like so many things. Okay, seven skill points. Hmm. Spellcraft is an option. Maybe a pretty good option. Could always go for more intelligence. Hmm. Nah, let's go with Spellcraft. Okay. Uh, we were poisoned again, actually. Didn't even realize that. Whoops. Wait, did I never check for loot here? Surely I did, but there's nothing there anyway. Um, some fruit. A digging spot. Energetic herbs. Oh, ghasts. All ghastly. Okay, they also stun. <clears throat> nice. I didn't even check. Where did I? Um, I don't know. 175 health. Not a terrible amount. Ooh, nice. Those two aren't just not coming, huh? Nope. In that case, maybe I can convince them to join us. Okay. Mm. Yeah, we don't need to heal here. Uh, well, maybe I should have to play it a bit safer, but these really aren't that bad. Herbs. Uh, let's also go to you. Okay, we dug there. Bag of meal. Oh, haven't found one of those in a while. Also, what the heck was here? Wait, <laughs> what item was here in this in this slot? What could that have possibly been? Some sort of Quest item? Huh? Um, that's interesting. Pretty sure last episode, when when I last opened his inventory, this uh, there was no gap here. Hold on, that should be in somewhere in the last video. I I need to know. <laughs> okay, interesting. I actually had a single piece of meat there. Oh. Okay, and I was just thinking, I mean, we couldn't have eaten that because even when Xanz was dead, uh, Hawk was the last person in the party, so it would have taken it from elsewhere. No, it wouldn't have because no one else does have any food. So whenever 
you consume any food. The game just checks everyone's inventory, starting with the first character, starting here, going line by line, pretty sure. And, you know, through everyone's inventory, if needs be. And it found something in the second to last inventory slot of the entire party and consumed that last time. Which I think is perfectly fine because I was only holding on to that piece of meat. Even though I'm pretty sure I, I already passed the uh, the situation where we could have used that or maybe even did. Well, either way, we have plenty of meat. So, yeah. Completely forgot that I was still holding on to that. For no real reason. All right. Mystery solved. Steel shield. Okay. Of course, it's also very silly that the game basically... That, you know, any inventory of a dead or, I suppose, unconscious party member that you're still somehow carrying with you, of course, is just considered... I don't know. Not part of this universe anymore. But, oh well. Corrupted mushrooms. Well, well, well. We'll just be taking all of those. Diseased mushrooms, corrupted mushrooms. Okay, there's our sample. I mean, I really don't think that we will uh, use these diseased mushrooms anywhere, ever. Because we did find them... I think we found them in the Great Cave somewhere? We've been carrying them around with us for a long time. But um, we already turned in the official Great Cave mushroom sample, so I really don't know what's up with those. But I'm going to hold on to them until the end of the game. Just in case. Okay, nice. So there was something pretty good to be found at the end of this little... Um, well, of this dead end, and yeah, I couldn't quite tell from looking at the map. It, it's possible, you know, it, would, it could have been possible. There could have possibly been a narrow uh, path alongside the river, but apparently not. But surely, past south of whatever this place is, I mean, there's clearly some sort of path leading somewhere. I wonder why that part isn't mapped. I suppose because whoever drew the map in universe didn't know what was there. Similarly with the uh, Western Reaches and whatever is up here. Are there any other spots like that? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, anyway. Uh, we could head across the river here, but we could also actually deal with these spraying shrubs, I suppose. Not that I really want to, but oh well. I think these things just uh, stay stationary and deal damage to anything within a certain radius. Yeah, a certain very large radius. Okay. Not that bad, thankfully. Just a bit annoying. Ratskin helmet. Oh, yeah. Well, thanks, I guess. Okay, we checked along that wall. Ogre. Okay, this should be the path. The path leading to the tower? I mean, yeah, probably. Even though the map isn't particularly accurate. Okay, they got a hellhound with them as well. Oh, <laughs> rabbit hellhound. Um, well, might as well speed things up a little bit here. Okay, ogre, ogre, hulking ogre, hello. Hmm. Well, might as well. Just attack the hellhound first. Okay. Why don't you go ahead and 
break the armor of this slightly tankier... Oh, okay, well. That kind of backfired. <sighs> Still gonna check these. Nice. Very nice, actually. Oh, so good. Okay, double fireball. I don't care, just arrow that guy. 96, nice. Yeah, enemies around here are definitely not particularly tough. Further evidence, or I mean, it's not that I needed evidence. Um, but, uh, yeah. Just, uh, due to the fact that we're obviously, we were obviously supposed to be coming here way sooner than we did. Okay, got a bit of a mushroom tree maze, although it's not really much of a maze if well, you can just navigate it basically by clicking wherever you want to go and your characters are going to do the, all the pathfinding. Um, mutant lizards, a basilisk. Okay, technically, basilisks could be somewhat dangerous, but um, I don't think we should have too much trouble with this one either. You emerge from this narrow overgrown tunnel into a broad, much more overgrown cavern. A river flows swiftly by to the west, and the moisture has encouraged an impossible tangle of cavewood trees and thickets of long ropey fungus. There are no signs of settlers from the abyss coming out here, and you can see why. Bones litter the paths, and ominous figures lope through the undergrowth. This is one of those areas in Avernum where no matter which direction you travel, you feel like you're being hunted. And you probably are. Well, good thing we are seeing all of this from a bird's eye perspective, or I guess cave bat's eye perspective. So, it's not nearly as scary as actually being down inside this, this maze. Um, no, let's still play things somewhat safely. <clears throat> of course, ideally, we w we'd like to deal with this basilisk first, just because it can probably do some nasty things. Get more vulnerable. Okay. Unaffected by the freezing cold, I like that. Okay. Well, you can take out the basilisk. There we go. You can probably not take out this lizard or any of the others, but might as well try. Oh, well, I mean, come on, a really good hit. Oh, wow, awesome. Actually, four hits. Best possible result, really. I like it. Uh, we're gonna heal you. Actually, we're gonna heal both of you. Awesome. Finally, luck is a little bit on our side. These things definitely hit pretty hard, so a little bit of luck certainly appreciated here. Yeah, yeah I probably should have dealt with that one first, but I think we're going to be fine. Probably. Maybe. Mm. Do I top him off? Yeah. Oh, okay. That was not nearly as much damage as I expected, to be honest. Less than our warriors tend to take here, but, you know, better safe than sorry. It would have been quite unfortunate to, to lose someone here, just for getting careless. Okay, target switched, that's fine. Oh, 
All right. That was not that bad. Um, and we get absolutely nothing out of it. Well, a leather helmet, I suppose. There's a digging spot, though. Okay. You should take a longer way. There's a very hidden digging spot. A gray mold mandrake root. Nice. And some herbs, for good measure. Iron shield. Okay, there's another such group. Have they seen us yet? Apparently not. Okay, Basilisk is sitting right there. Also, they're nice and uh, walled in there, in their little camp. That definitely works to our advantage. All in blow for decent damage. Yep, half of them can't do anything because they're just trapped in there. Well, I mean, we could attack that one, but. Yeah, that's fine. We're still getting attacked quite a lot here, but... Oh, come on. I got all the haste luck last time, I suppose. But that's fine. Eh. Alright, parry, good. Still no haste. Oh well. Um, can you finish off that one? Awesome. And this one? Also awesome. Eh. Okay, nice. Two small heals. Nice and efficient. Of course, Hawk is burning through his mana, but, you know, that's what we have it for. Also not so bad, Steel Javelins. Oh, are those the really good ones? 6 to 24? No, the really good ones are the Fine Lances, right? Meh. Um, sure, whatever, I'll, I'll just put them there, I guess. Money, Regen Scroll. Another Javelin, actually. Don't suppose we can get there or there? Oh, we can get there. Is there a reason to be there? Hmm. Oh, yeah, actually. Energetic herbs. Yeah, I might still be missing a digging spot or two. If I don't happen to just mouse over it and notice, notice it lighting up. But then again... Maybe I did find them all. Oh, Gremin. Okay, friendly for now. So much for our no sign of um, of Abyssians setting foot here. Some brave souls have constructed a small outpost here, deep within the thickets. Piles of lizard hides dry outside. A single young warrior stands just outside the front gate, and you can see several archers just inside. And yet, something about them seems off. They look and act like simple hunters and trappers, but there is something about their movements, the look in their eyes, the way they watch you. A few months ago, you would have been fooled. Now, with all you have seen, you know to be on your guard. Okay. That's all our instincts tell us, not anything more specific. So, are these the Darkside Loyalists? Whose camp we're looking for? 
in that case, I guess the game would be would still be correct, and uh, I guess these are not uh, inhabitants of the abyss, or not originally anyway. Hmm. No. Why do I? Well, I keep messing up all the buttons lately. Hmm. Nothing marked on the map yet. Ah. There is a man waiting for you at the entrance to the outpost. He's dressed like a trapper, but he has massive muscles and a killer's eyes. The sword hanging from his belt is a beautiful blade. Ooh, I want that. He sneers at you. You're far from your home territory, Evernight. I'm Gremin. This is our land. It's time for you to turn back. Try to enter, and we'll drive you out. Oh, really? Hmm. What are you doing out here? We're trappers. We kill and skin lizards. We catch fish. And we want our privacy. That's a nice sword. He doesn't respond. He just rests his hand on the pommel. Will you trade with me? No trading. Just go. As you talk with him, you notice that his skin isn't actually that pale. It's as if he was on the surface fairly recently. Yeah, okay, so Dark Side Loyalists, gotcha. Um, though one has to wonder... I mean, fairly recently, huh? So, one has to wonder, how did they get here? How recently did they come? I suppose fairly recently could still have been when uh, the portal connection was still still working regularly, right? Uh, so they don't necessarily have some sort of secret way in and out of Avernum. Well, maybe they had a secret way in and not necessarily a way out. Who knows? Um, but also, how are they surviving here? I mean, trappers, okay, sure. Um, catching lizards and curing their hides, but if they're not doing any trading, then... I mean, what are they doing it for? Who knows? Uh, I'm going to enter your fort. That's my only option, huh? I suppose... Um, I suppose it's implied that we have tried just, uh, you know, asking more questions, just uh, striking up a conversation, and no success. I'm going to enter your fort. He takes a step back. You can hear the archers inside the fort drawing back their arrows, ready to fire. I said you were to stay outside, and I meant it. Now turn back. That's the last warning you get. Okay, I mean, you don't seem that bad. In fact, you seem kind of weak. Grim trappers, huh? I mean, we can still turn back. I think. But we could also try our luck here. See if our resources are enough to deal with these guys. How close are we to leveling? Not very, because he literally just leveled. Yeah, of course. Um, okay. Why wait until they turn hostile? Until they actually turn hostile, if we can just do this. Oh, remote abyss fort. Now it's been put on the map. Gotcha. Um, we just do this. Okay. <clears throat> the good news is that I don't actually see those archers that the game mentioned. So, and if since since we can't see them, they also can't see us, which is convenient. Also, did these trappers actually attack Gremmon just now? They sure didn't attack us or turn hostile. It's actually kind of funny. I I might not have been paying attention to that, but uh, they did. I, I thought they approached us to attack, but they wouldn't have done that if they if the uh, they haven't actually turned into hostile units. Of course, that also means that I can't just uh, easily lightning spray them. Well, I mean, I suppose if I do this now, it's going to hit all three of them and kill Gremin. There you go. Still no archers. Hmm. They're kind of doing a bad job defending the fort. Just saying. Okay. 
So I'll just quickly deal with the poison. There they are. All right. Yep. Okay. Oh well. Oh, you can actually attack this one. Sure. Might as well. Although that means, of course, that she's going to get attacked by all three of them. Hmm. Technically, Lulu could just stay outside and focus on healing. Because she's not going to get... Okay, let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, that's fine. Should be pretty much safe from most of the archers here. Hmm. Yeah, of course, Hawk won't be able to do much. I wonder if I should just... If I should have him wait here. Rather than uh, stop somewhere around here where several of them will be able to shoot him. It's a bit of a waste, perhaps, of a turn, but... Might be the safer option. You know what? Why don't you actually... Oh, what? No path to your foe? Are you kidding? <laughs> the funny thing is also... She moved one tile, right? Before... Before realizing... Wait. <laughs> or coming to the wrong conclusion. That there is no path. What if you walk there? Huh. Oh. Well. I guess there was a path after all, huh? Whoops. Silly AI. Okay. The guys from over here just didn't even try to <laughs> to get to the other side to participate in the fight. Fireball is cheap enough. <clears throat> they moved one tile and just stopped there. Continue to conserve mana here. Ah, oh, come on. Really? Oh well. I suppose the second arrow is gonna do the trick. Oh hey, there was another one. Hmm. Oh wow, just enough. Perfect. Alright, so much for those for those guards. Not particularly effective, thankfully. Why is there a nest here? They didn't have any animals with them, so that's kind of weird. Also why the archers had steel shields with them, I'm not entirely sure. of meal, all right. Maybe I'll eventually do something useful with them. Okay, so that was that. Of course, we're, we didn't use up a ton of energy, actually. Surprisingly little. But uh, we also didn't regain any, so the smart thing, of course, before tackling the actual fortress... Oh. Hi there. Spark lizards, huh? Oh god, wait, what? Are you kidding? These are super... Tough. Uh-oh. This might have been a mistake. Um. Okay. Actually, that was... Okay. That hurt, but... Um, they didn't put a lightning debuff on us, which is what I was really afraid of. 
And if we can just fight one of them at a time here, and they're not going to bombard us with area spells, which is also what I was expecting, then we might be good? I don't know. They're still super tanky, but... And they deal a ton of damage, but, uh, you know, if they can only deal that damage to one person at a time, we might be okay here. Reduce armor, which I think I didn't do. Ouch. Okay. Oh. Well, that's kind of inconvenient, to be honest. Also... I have a feeling like Lightning Spray is not really going to work against them. And there's no way, right? Spark Lizards. They do deal magical damage, not lightning damage, but still. Should I try? Well, the more... I think the more efficient thing to do is... Well, I suppose spray acid, for one, because they have so many hit points. Yeah. Should definitely start with that. Although, they're not taking a ton of damage from that, so... I don't know. Maybe not? We're gonna wait here. You're not gonna trick me into... Running after you. Okay, they do have range attacks. Oh my god! Okay, well, so much for that. I don't know if I. S Did I save after dealing with uh, the presumed loyalists? Maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure though. Bye, guys. Okay. Not sure if they're actually coming after us, but. We got away. So that was un unexpectedly nasty. Um, and honestly, since apparently they can just choose to to use range attacks, and they can just choose to attack the same person twice in a round and just kill them, and they are extremely tanky, so that's, uh, that's a pretty nasty combination. Certainly an unexpected obstacle to find just in that random corner there. I was not expecting any kind of enemies, really, there. I thought there was maybe just going to be a digging spot or some herbs on that last bit, bit of unexplored terrain there. But... No such luck. That said, of course I would like to deal with them if I can, but... That's going to be... It's going to be tricky. There they are. Did they heal? No? Okay. That one's still damaged, at least. I mean, I suppose if they... If they will just use range attacks anyway, there's no reason to not just charge in there. Okay, they're still not attacking us from there, so... We'll tentatively, tentatively save. What is this, actually? Oh, hold on. Could this actually be... Could this actually be the wrong button again? No. Here. Oh yeah, Western Excavation. This is the that dead end tunnel where the ogres were um well, quote unquote, working together with the mages trying to blast their way through here. Yeah. Interesting. Um but that's not right not not very important right now. Okay, buffs, and I suppose even though it's gonna be, it's gonna last a disappointingly short time again, but I think if ever there was a <laughs> a time to use Ward of Elements, this is it. Okay, let's try this again. We'll just hope that we can kill them relatively quickly by focusing on one at a time, because we need to reduce their numbers desperately. Okay. Yeah, please use your melee attacks. <laughs> They're so much less scary. Although it does all add, add up, unfortunately. So lightning, uh, or no, not lightning. Um, acid wasn't really very effective. Let's try lightning. I need to know. Okay, so they are called spark lizards, but they're not using lightning attacks. So I guess a spark isn't necessarily lightning, although, I mean, it is... It could be a spark of light, so magical light or something, I don't know. Clearly in this case it's not actually an electric spark. 
that the name's referring to. Of course, uh, so much for focusing on one at a time, huh? I guess I should have just attacked this one, even though it was so tempting to uh, spray lightning at these. Well, I mean, you guys are kind of stuck with these enemies here, and they with you. Also, someone's probably going to die. It, it really comes down to just luck. Or lack thereof. But, well, I mean, I got lucky... Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Oh dear. Please, stop it. Well, yeah, we, we did get lucky insofar as... Uh, well, they didn't just randomly decide to, you know shoot lightning at the same person twice. So that's nice, but we're also all in very in very bad shape. And I will not be able to kill one of these. And even if I do, there's still going to be three more left. Actually, what am I doing? Why didn't I try this before? We did stun one of them. And I think we just stunned the second one. I should have just done that first. Okay, I'm going to just heal Ayali here and hope for the best. Oh, really? Wait. This one's not stunned, though. It's still... You can see it's tongue moving. It just decided not to attack. Okay, let's not question it, maybe? Just accept our good luck? Really? Uh... Okay, also heal yourself. There's the lightning. Oh, and a pretty nasty melee attack. Come on, kill this thing already. Thank you. It's actually kind of close. Um, I mean, it's not going to be super effective, but still. Better than nothing. should absolutely heal you as well. Oh god. These things are ridiculous. Okay, also that lizard definitely just woke up. This one I think is still stunned. Well, when I say stunned, I mean dazed, of course, in this case. Please, just... Just kill the thing. Okay. Lucky haste again, and this one woke up. But it didn't shoot any lightning, so... What the heck? Why? Why now? I mean, I guess it's amazing that it, it went well for as long as it did, but... <sighs> well, there's one of them down. Let's try dazing again? Resisted. Alright. Well, this might be it. <laughs> We might just be screwed now. Clean yourself. Yep. There's lightning and a bite and another bite. And lightning and another bite! Are you nuts? Days? Nope. Days again? And they're both dazed. Alright, well. It's nice, I suppose. Okay. Jesus. Okay. Wow, it actually died from acid. But this one still has 533 health. How am I ever going to burn through all of that? That seems impossible. Y 
heal him, I guess. Oh, it's confused. That's good for me. It's probably not gonna last, but um, I'll take it. Uh, you know what? Absolutely heal yourself. Yeah, good choice. Well, I mean, you weren't attacked, but still. Still a good choice. I mean, so long as Hawk stays alive, he can deal a ton of damage. That's the good news. Also, end of the list of good news. Ouch. Jesus. Okay. Please get hasted a lot. Oh. Speaking of which, no more haste for our healer. Also, she's running out of energy fast. This rate. Oh, okay. I'm getting super lucky with with Hawk's haste procs here. And I guess the oh the lizard was stunned. That's huge. Jesus, no! What are you doing? Come on. Holy crap. Those things are were absolutely nuts, what the heck? And not really that far off the beaten path either. Um well I guess you're gonna take this stuff for now. Iron Schwartz or Cave Wood Bow. As a shower, sure, whatever. Energy potion. Not even any, like, unique loot or anything. Just some random stuff. Okay. Well, that was interesting and unexpected. You know what? Actually, I will just uh, end the episode here. You don't need to see me limping back to uh, Fort Zephyrin yet again to heal, but that's what I'm going to do, of course. And I suppose next time, when we are fully restored, we're going to take a look at the uh, main part of this mysterious... Wrong button. No, that's not mysterious. Rem mysterious remote abyss fort. And of course, there's not actually a connection to Erika's old tower. Surely there's got to be, though. There's got to be some kind of way to get there eventually. But... Um, yeah, anyway, we're going to take a look at this at this uh, fort, which can really only be where those dark side loyalists are hanging out. But we'll confirm that next time. As always, I thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.